All right, YouTubers, another unboxing video. So this is uh, kind of hard to get this one in uh, to the picture with the Tri-1, 37 inch tall um, camera mount here. Usually this thing works pretty good. Uh, in this case, not working so great for it, but uh, it's better than me holding the camera unsteady, I guess. So this should be an HP uh, 290 slimline P0043W. Um, I bought off eBay. Um, probably seen that I do a lot of videos where I'll take a desktop computer and I will um, upgrade them. And uh, in this case, uh, that's what we're going to do with this computer. So we're going to um, eventually upgrade the RAM. I'll show you how to do that. We'll hopefully be able to put some kind of video card in here. Um, we will change out the CPU and put an i5-8400 uh, uh, in it. So I'll show you how to do that here. Uh, we will also, what else will we do? We'll put an SSD in here, M.2 NVMe. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, and we'll probably do, we could do two versions. Uh, one where we install it uh, directly from USB thumb drive and another where I take the hard drive that's on here and we do a recovery. All right, so uh, I don't see anything on the front that says this is HP. Usually they like to brag about their stuff. Uh, so this is not the original keyboard. Uh, that said, it feels decent. I'll have to plug it in at some point to verify that it works. And then, uh, where are my restoration discs? You have to make them. So this came from VIP outlets on eBay. I bought a few things off him or her or whoever. They seem all right. They seem all right enough that I gave them some repeat business. So nice long power cable. That's good. And let's see, hopefully the mouse is at least HP. Um, yeah, there's a little HP signal. So authentic mouse, um, pretty simple. I'm not sure if it's been used. I don't see any scratches, so that's a good sign. So let's go back to our keyboard, um, and see if we can find that same emblem. There it is. Okay. So it's an authentic HP keyboard. Very nice. Very nice. I got this for $122. Um, it was a B stock. Um, so there should be some scratches on this guy. I'm going to pull it out. There we go. And of course, I put it, grab it upside down. So, never mind all the other garbage that's sitting around the table or on the counter. Hopefully I'll edit that out. All right, so there's the desktop. Um, this has the um, HN Intel Celeron G4900, which is uh, probably the equivalent of, uh, I would say, a 7th Gen Pentium, uh, which would then be the equivalent of a 6th Gen i3 which is probably the equivalent of a 4th gen uh, i5, which is probably the equivalent of, I'm just kidding. We could go on with that, right? All right, so this looks pretty nice, folks. I think, uh, so I got some uh, eBay bucks back on this, so uh, even better deal. You can see some fingerprints and some tape. I really like the way the front of that is. That's a nice face. Uh, no USB 3.0 on the front. WTF, people. There's your Intel. They were so embarrassed they couldn't even put the uh, Celeron sticker on it. I'm sure HP has not sold these too well. Um, wow, where are the 3.1s? So not even a single 3.1. This is going to be dog transferring files over to it. Um, okay, so on the back power, six USB 2.0s, Ethernet, uh, VGA, 
and then HDMI, and then your um, microphone, headphone, and other audio connector there. All right, so next video, we are going to take this thing apart and uh, dissect it. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.